this is giving full class and I, I don't feel deserving of it. Hey girlies, so I'm obviously in Epcot. Love that for me. Welcome to the first episode of my new Epcot series, which I think I'm gonna call Timmy Eats Everything on Earth, <laughs> which I just came up with right now in my mind. Throughout the year, I'm gonna attempt to eat at every Epcot country for 24 hours. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. And in today's first episode, I'm gonna be eating in Epcot's Mexico all day long. And I'm so hyped because they have three restaurants, which is perfect for me. I have three stomachs, first of all, like an ostrich, and it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. For breakfast, I'm gonna be eating at, wait, let me pronounce this correctly. I am half Cuban, so I should be able to. La Cantina de San Angel. You know, I think I ate that. It's a quick service restaurant, so it's like the cheap kind, $15 and under. And then for lunch, I am eating at the San Angel in Restaurante. It is inside of the big pyramid, which is so exciting because I've never eaten there and it just, it looks so cool. This is more of a sit down restaurant, so I did get reservations and it's 15 to $35 per adult. And then for dinner, I am eating at La Hacienda de San Angel. They, they all say Angel, right? It's another sit down restaurant, so I got reservations once again, and it's the same price range, 15 to $35. So I'm so excited, it's gonna be such a fun day of food, and of course, I'm gonna explore Mexico itself and look in every little shop that they have, every little area. We're gonna explore the whole country, so. But before we start, guys, give this video a big thumbs up if you're excited for this series and you're enjoying it. It's the easiest way to support little old me, and I'm a new Disney vlogger, okay? I am not an experienced mouse couture, or isn't is Mickey a rat? A rat couture. Also subscribe if you're new here. I make restaurant content, theme park food content, hotel food content. It's all about food, though. So subscribe if you're into food. By the way, the weather's perfect today. It's like 60 something degrees. I'm feeling dainty in my long Epcot shirt. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. All you need is a light sweater. Here is Mexico. Look how cool, guys. We're gonna explore more soon, but this right here is our breakfast spot. It just says La Cantina, but as we know, it's a longer name. The line was moving fast, so I could not get a good shot of the menu. So I paused it for you guys. This is what the menu looked like. We have a bowl, we have tacos, we have empanadas, nachos. We got it all, girl. This is what the ordering area looks like. It's all very cash. That means casual. Um, and this is the inside seating area. This was like a blocked off section. So it was all empty and gorgeous. So I got a good shot of it. Uh, this is the other side of the restaurant. Very cute. And this is the outside seating area. It is literally on the water, which is so nice because it's like a quick service place, but you still get a great view. Okay, guys, so this is my breakfast. I got, of course, a Diet Coke. Don't look at my dry cuticles, <laughs> please. And then I got the taco trio. We have a chicken taco, a barbacoa taco, and a shrimp taco. And it comes with rice and beans. And then I also got the churros. Hello, I had to get two things at least. And I got some little salsas from the salsa bar. So it's always a little awkward for me to film in a public, but once I'm eating, I'm just focused on devouring, you know? <laughs> Let's first try the beans. They have some queso fresco on them. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. You guys know I'm half Cuban, so I do consider myself a black bean expert. I know that Mexican and Cuban cuisines are very different, but I know good black beans. And these are good. I'm not blown away, but they have enough salt. The queso fresco does add like a little, <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> a little like pizzazz, a little pop of tartness, you know? But overall the flavor is quite simple. Simple is good sometimes. Texture wise, I don't think that they're soft enough. They have a little too much bite to them. Like they're possibly maybe a little overcooked or undercooked, I don't know. No, let's try the rice, okay? Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah. I love a simple tomatoey Mexican rice. It is cooked perfectly. It's garlicky. It's not oily. A lot of rice can be oily. This is not oily. This is fluffy. Perfect Mexican rice. Let's let's try them together. Beans and rice. Mmm. Very nice together. The rice really upgrades the beans. It's like, girl, we need to be better than this. Let me lift you up and support you. Women supporting women. We love it. Mmm. So I think I'm gonna give the rice a 10 out of 10. It's perfection. The beans, I'm gonna give them a 6.5. And then together, a nice strong 8. Very good. Now it's time for tacos. Now, you guys know, I don't like seafood. It's too oceanic for me. I know I, I'm an aerial stan, but I don't want to be part of her world. I just want to watch it. But out of all seafood, I feel like shrimp to me is the most digestible 
it's <laughs> compared to let's say salmon or like fresh tuna i would choose shrimp so i can totally eat it i just wouldn't choose it but i had to get the taco trio to try all three let's first try the pollo taco which means chicken in case you didn't know and it seems to just have chicken and cilantro which i'm not a big cilantro fan but if there's a hint of it i'm fine and i think that's all it has okay Mm. You might be thinking to me, that looks so horribly simple and plain. But guess what? Sometimes, like I said, simple is good. This is delicious. The chicken has a lot of flavor. It's salty. It tastes super seasoned. It tastes super broiled or grilled, whatever it's called, whatever the manly term is. And it's juicy. I think it's chicken thigh because it is not dry at all. Delicious. But let's try it with these salsas. We have green and red. Ooh, look at all that. I love salsa. The salsa that woke me up. That is such a burst of sunshine. It is so limey and tart. It has a hint of cilantro, just a hint, but it mostly just tastes like green chilies. So, mm, it's so good. This is it. And the salsa is free, so you could drink it if you wanted to, girl. Fill up the cup. I might do just that. Okay, so the chicken taco, even though it was so simple, I'm gonna give it a nice strong nine out of ten. Stunning. Okay, now let's try the barbacoa one. Each of the tacos um, have different toppings, by the way. So that's exciting. It has a lot of sauce on it. I'm not sure what kind of sauce that is. And it seems to also have cilantro. There's the barbacoa meat, if you wanna see it. Focus. Ugh, it's hard to see. It's dripping. Okay. Okay. I'm a barbacoa stan. That is my main meat at Chipotle, guys. But I don't know how to feel about this one. <gasps> I didn't try the Chipotle sauce yet. Let's try that. Mm. The Chipotle sauce. That just brought this to life. Wow. Oh my god. These salsas are amazing. The barbacoa was nice. But to me, it didn't have enough flavor. The fact that Chipotle's barbacoa, which is basically fast food at this point, had more flavor is not a good thing. You know, this is a Disney World. I know it's quick service, but I'm expecting slayage, slayage, slayage. And it was just okay. Um, I feel like it lacked salt. It lacked happiness. It lacked depth. I feel like it was very on the surface. Just, I'm barbacoa. Who am I? <laughs> Look at me when I said I'm barbacoa. It just kind of tasted like plain old shredded beef. Also, it was a little chewing. And barbacoa should just melt in your mouth shred by shred. It should be the kind of cow that just says, uh -huh. I'm melting. So I'm gonna have to give the barbacoa taco, I think four out of 10. It could have been much better. I, I expected more. Okay, last but not least, we have the shrimp taco. The little shrimps are breaded. Wait, is it shrimp or shrimps? It's shrimp. So how do you tell the difference if you're talking about one shrimp or multiple shrimps that is the breaded shrimp it looks like it's nice and fully fried to a nice golden brown color <laughs> what am i saying <laughs> and it has some like mango on it which is interesting and some cabbage okay let's try this little shrimpy that was a whole shrimp mm -hmm. a crustacean mm, that's good look this is what it looks like on the inside Hey, what is that? It's a piece of cabbage, sorry. <laughs> That's a very pretty shrimp, is it not? Let's put it back in. I have to say that is pretty good. The texture is not rubbery. I hate when shrimp has a super rubbery texture. This is much softer and it isn't as bouncy, you know? The breading is nice and crispy. It does have a simple flavor, but it gets the job done. It makes it taste like fried, delicious golden brown shrimp. The mango adds a burst of sweetness. I think there's a sauce on here too. It almost tastes like a chipotle mayo or something like that. The cabbage had a very nice fresh crunch to it. So for a shrimp item, that was pretty fantastic. I have to give that a nice strong eight out of 10. So I'm kind of surprised out of the three tacos, my least favorite was barbacoa. That's an issue. Mickey said, if you're gonna call me a rat, you don't get a good barbacoa girl. Now it's time for churros, guys. Oh my God, I'm so excited. The churros came with a chocolate sauce. Honestly, kind of just smells like Hershey syrup. Mmm, that crunch. Mmm, mm, that is quite delectable. Mm. 
Mm, okay. It does not taste like Hershey syrup. Thank you, Mickey. It tastes like real warm fudge sauce. And that's what I like to say or to eat. Oh, yeah. The churro itself is extremely crunchy. A lot crunchier than your typical churro. A lot of churros can be crunchy on the outside and then a little doughy on the inside. This is more so crunchy the whole way through, which makes the churro is actually quite satisfying to eat. Also, they don't taste like your typical churro. They have more of a donut flavor to them. I don't know how to describe it, because a lot of churros taste like donuts, but this tastes like a donut flavor. <laughs> like a fake donut on a churro. Does that make sense? Like a churro, like a donut flavored churro. That's what it tastes like to me. And you might not understand that. The girls that get it, get it, and the girls that don't, don't. I am very impressed by La Cantina de San Angel. I wouldn't say it's sit-down restaurant quality, but it's better than fast food for sure. Let's go explore the Mexico area. Guys, look at this little squirrel. Hey, girl. It's like, where's Mickey? Where's that rodent? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Girl, it's running. Okay, guys, so this is the main pyramid in the Mexico area. And this is where I'm going to have lunch. So after lunch, I'm going to explore everything in it there. I think that there's a, like, Donald Duck ride in there or something like that. So we can ride that as well. We're doing everything that Mexico has to offer today, okay? It's just stunning. Like, look at this. I'm not sure what this type of art is, like, called, but it is just gorgeous. But, like, look at the detail. It's painted so well. There's also this, like quick service margarita type of place where you can get margaritas, guacamole, and some like little appetizer type things. Isn't it so cute? I'm not that into drinks, so I'm not gonna get any, but that is there, just so you know. And now this is where I'm gonna have dinner, La Hacienda de San Angel. And there's this really cute little fountain happening here. Are there coins in there? Yes, there are a few. I don't have any on me though, but make a wish girl, plop. People are meeting Donald Duck and he's leaving. He's on the run, girl. The way that he runs, girl, you know, runs the same way as me. Let's just say that. There's also this like thing where you could take a picture. <laughs> okay. There's also this ring carving station. So cool. There's also this nice little path where you can just walk up it, see all this gorgeous greenery. But like I said, we're gonna explore the pyramid after lunch. So I think that's all we have to explore for right now. I'm gonna walk around the whole park, go on some rides, and then I will see you guys for our lunch reservation. Okay, girlies, so I have been walking around the park. I went on test track, three hours flew by. Oh, is that eyebrow grease on my glasses? I have to clean them, sorry. Three hours flew by and now it's time for lunch in the pyramid, I'm so excited. Ooh, I almost bumped into someone. So to my surprise, the inside of the pyramid is, is like mostly Coco themed. And I love Coco, it is one of Pixar's best movies. I'm a little um poco loco too, girl. These figurines and this dress, it was also stunning. Mexican culture is so gorgeous. Look at all these little figurines. Everything was just so cool. And this statue of a bride and groom was just iconic. It was huge too. What does it say? Attraction, dining, shopping. Dining doesn't have an arrow. So I'm guessing this is it. Oh, oh my God. I literally tripped on the sign and someone's cracking up. I'm fine. This room is so cool. So it looks like a town. See, it's like all like buildings and stuff. And there's all these little shopping areas throughout it, which I'm gonna look at after eating. Now, this is the restaurant itself. I'm about to go in. Guys, this is so cool. And there's the pyramid inside of the pyramid. Okay, guys, I am seated. It's kind of dark and it's kind of loud. So I hope you can see and hear me. I have a little um, like lantern with an actual flame in it and it's actually lighting my face up. So we love that. But guys, I have amazing seating. I'm like right next to the pyramid. Look, literally right there, no zoom. Isn't that so cool? And I have all this plant life behind me. I'm excited now. Um, I don't see a menu, but I think they're gonna bring it to me. I'm just gonna start to look at the menu on my phone because I can't wait to see what they have. Okay, so let's first look at appetizers. They have tortilla soup, a tamale, I think, guacamole, oh, queso fundido. I love queso, guys, I might get that. Tostadas de pollo and totopos con queso. Okay, so I just ordered my appetizer. I did get the queso. I am predictable, but it's queso. Also, the waiters are so nice. I mean, it's Disney, they're, they're always nice, but I think that we should appreciate nice people every opportunity that we get. Okay guys, so the chips and queso came pretty fast. Here's the chips. It's kind of hard to see, I'm sorry, it's all dark. Here's the queso. I'm gonna get a better shot in a second. 
and it came with salsa as well. So once again, it's kind of hard to see, hold on. <laughs> but here's the chips, here's the queso, and here's the salsa. It's totally under a shadow, hold on. Let's just put it up to the light, like the beast. Come into the light, girl. Okay, let's first try the salsa. Ooh. Okay. It's like a thin salsa. It isn't chunky at all. It's delicious, but... <laughs> I think it's the same Chipotle salsa dip from the quick service place. Like, I'm almost 100% sure. But it's so good. Then, hey, recycling is good for the earth, right? Love that. It's delicious. I love it, but... I'm just kind of surprised that it is the same thing. Now, it did come with the queso for free, so I can't complain because it's free. It's so tangy. And the chipotle flavor is so strong. It like literally tastes like those um, chipotle peppers in the adobo sauce, like the canned kind. It tastes just like that, but just like a liquid version. And I love that. The chips are real crunchy, salty. And they're kind of thick cut too. And they're not super thin and greasy like a lot of other places. Let's try the queso. It's extremely cheesy, guys. Look at that. See? Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. So delicious. <laughs> I'm shaking. It's not giving your typical pesto flavor. It doesn't taste like chili peppers or like a little bit of tomato or anything like that it tastes literally like mac and cheese sauce and to me that's a win <laughs> i'm enjoying it it's really salty sharp it tastes like a white cheddar mac and cheese sauce it's so salty in a good way and it has that perfect gooey texture that is so satisfying hold on i want to try a chip with the queso and the chipotle salsa stuff oh my god Oh. I feel like I'm levitating. That is one of the most perfect combinations I have ever had in my life. Mm. Kessa 10 out of 10, salsa 10 out of 10, chips are 10 out of 10, perfect appetizer. Wow. Now it's time to look at entrees. Okay, so we have pollo en las rajas, which is a grilled chicken, haracha vegetariano, which is a fried corn, tacos with ribeye, which is a shrimp dish. Caesar salad, I think. Enchiladas, ooh, enchiladas. Baja tacos, you know what? I'm gonna get the enchiladas. Corn tortillas filled with chipotle chicken covered with salsa verde. Oh, I said that wrong. Verde, there we go. Crema mexicana, cotija cheese, and crispy onion straws or top beans served with plantains. That's it, girlies, that's it. Okay, so I just ordered and the waitress was so nice and was like telling me about like all the different dishes and like which are the most popular and all that. And um, she said that the chicken enchiladas were one of the best sellers, so I'm ready. Okay guys, so the enchiladas came out within like five minutes and they look incredible and they smell so good. Like the cheese has such a strong smell to it. We have some fried onions, some cilantro, which I might take off because I'm not a big fan, but it looks so good. And then here's the little plantains over here. They look delicious. And there's refried beans underneath the enchilada, so I'm so hyped. Oh, it's a worry about it. These are a side of plantains with a little awesome. bit of cheese and sour cream. Awesome. Thank you. It looks amazing. Well, enjoy. Thank you so much. You. Let's first try the plantains, because why not? Oh my god. Mm. Focus. These are delicious. Let's start with drinks then. You know what? They have a nice firm potato-y texture to them. They're not mushy whatsoever. And they have some saltiness going on with the sweetness from the cotija cheese and the crema. No, I just have a pink lemon. These are the best plantains I've ever had. I'm not joking like right now. I'm shook. Let's try the enchiladas. They're really covered with cheese. And we'd love to see it. Oh my God. That bite's too big, Timmy. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down, sis. So there's the chicken on the inside. Oh my God. Let's put a little fried onion on there. It's like a banana, but it's like... Oh my God. Oh my god. I don't want to cause a scene. Oh my goodness. Oh. Mm. Wow. I have nothing to say. The video's over. <laughs> Just kidding. 
Mm. These enchiladas are next level. I am not exaggerating when I say they're one of the best enchiladas I've ever had. The corn tortillas are perfect. They're not mushy. A lot of times enchiladas can be mushy. These ones still have a little bit of a bite to them and that's because these enchiladas overall aren't too liquidy, you know? Now the chicken on the inside is shredded white meat and it just tastes like chipotle deliciousness, like very seasoned, very tender, not dry at all. The cheese on top is such a thick salty layer that makes all the other flavors pop. And the salsa bed, their sauce is so limey and tart and brings the whole thing to life, girl. Plus the refried beans on the bottom aren't super heavy. They have a very light texture to them and they just kind of like melt into the enchiladas and just become one with them. It's just all very cohesive and incredible. It's a 10 out of 10. And the plantains too. Also, it's a big portion. Like I can tell that it's gonna be very filling, but as I'm eating it, it doesn't feel super heavy. It's like easy to eat, if that makes sense. Let's pick dessert. Las leches de horchata. Oh my God, that sounds so good. Flan, nieve, which is a Mexican sorbet. Wow. Brownie sundae and a sweet corn ice cream. I think I'm gonna do the tres leches. I love tres leches so much. Okay guys, so this is the tres leches. It has a scoop of corn ice cream on top, which sounds amazing. And tons of almonds. Oh my God, it looks so good and juicy. Okay, let's see how that texture is. Ooh, it's very thick and dense. It's so deep. That's a thick piece of cake. If you haven't had tres leches, basically it's like a cake that is soaked in three milks. Okay. Oh. I'm shaking again. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try the sweet corn ice cream. Oh my god. Hello. Groundbreaking once again. The cake itself isn't totally soaked through, like it's not soggy. There's still a bit of dryness in the center. So you can kind of like dip it into all this extra milk. The edges are soaked through and it just creates this almost custardy texture in the cake. The milk itself does have a horchata type of flavor which is a cinnamon milky drink i think right that is coming through and then the almonds add a little bit of crunch the sweet corn ice cream tastes like cornbread and you guys know i love cornbread girly like i feel like all bread should be cornbread and then you can make wheat bread like a special thing do you get me this is another 10 out of 10 this restaurant eats guys i am so satisfied with this meal it's been magical Okay guys, it is time to go on the Grand Fiesta Tour little boat ride that is right next to the restaurant. Let's do it, girl. Never mind, I think it's closed. That's okay though. And instead, let's just look at some of these shops. So this store was all Coco themed. Look at the staircase. Um, it looks like the staircase that like connects the real world to the um, afterlife in Coco amazing. And then all these little skulls were so pretty and they were selling a lot of different glasses and shirts and then there was this like little margarita place i think that had a huge line everyone was trying to get in there so i just didn't even try and on my way out i saw this gorgeous cocoa display stunning well lunch was genuinely incredible i'm gonna go on some more rides walk around a bit more get my steps in girl and then we're gonna have dinner right back there Okay, girlies, it is officially time for dinner. And I'm already hungry again. Okay, guys, I am in at the restaurant. It's stunning. Can you see it? There we go. See? And look at my view. Literally, I'm right next to this window. This is my view. How beautiful, right? This is so nice. What a nice way to end the day. This is such a cute, quiet, nice place. And it's pretty empty, guys. Like, wow. Okay, so we have an actual menu here. Love that. Luxury. Let's start with an appetizer. We have guacamole, flautas. Ooh, I love flautas. Totopos, queso, uh, soup again. A lot of the same appetizers. Do you think it's like almost the same menu? I think I'm gonna probably do the flautas. Fried tortillas filled with chipotle, chicken, potato, and cheese. Topped with romaine, crema mexicana, and ranchera sauce. That sounds so good. Uh, yes, um, I think that I'm gonna start with uh, the um, flautas. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
He is so nice. Love him. Everyone has been so nice today. Okay, girlies, the flautas are here. They're completely covered in sauce and cotija cheese. It looks so good, and that's a very big portion for a big man like me. A man like me needs his sustenance. How do I do this? I'm always so bad at using like a fork and a knife. I was homeschooled. I know that's no excuse, but it is my excuse. Okay, did I do that good? I think I did. Ooh, very crunchy. So this is the inside of the flauta. What's going on today? That's hot. You've outdone yourself, girl. Let me eat slow, though, because I don't want to get too full before the meal. Ooh, I have to be classier. Oh, wowie, 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 wow. These flautas are phenomenal. The actual tortilla, I can tell, is like, like a corn tortilla, but it's kind of giving tamale a little bit, and I love tamales. It's, it's, it's like an extra corny corn tortilla. And it has a cakiness to it that it just melts in your mouth. Like a tamale, you know? And then the chicken on the inside has the perfect amount of seasoning. It's a little less strong compared to the um, filling in the enchilada. It is tamer, but it's so clean and so delicious. You know what I mean? It has a clean flavor. Green salsa stuff on top is, once again, super limey. It might be the same green salsa. This is the quick service place. <laughs> Just like the chipotle sauce, girl. They are sharing sauces, but it tastes amazing. Let's check out the entrees. So we have the house specialties. Fish, nar. Sorry, Ursula. Braised short rib with whipped potatoes, carrots, and roasted asparagus. That sounds amazing right now. It is expensive, but maybe I'll just splurge. <laughs> I'm so bad. Carne asada, parilada. <laughs> Pollo poblano, which is like a poblano chicken. Shrimp taco. A stuffed poblano pepper. Ooh, that sounds kind of good. Braised duck tacos and marinated braised pork. Guys, I'm kind of craving short rib. I know it's really fancy and extravagant, but the stomach wants what the stomach wants. Okay, guys, so the braised short rib is here. Look at this. This presentation, the full carrots. The mashed potatoes, this looks incredible. I'm shook. It looks amazing. It's yeah. Because cold is now. Yeah, hot. Yeah. Yeah, Okay, I'm gonna eat it fast. The potatoes. Yeah? Let me, I ordered it just because of the potatoes. Yeah, I really. Thank you so much. So let's first try the potatoes. Let's first try the potatoes. I love mashed potatoes. Yeah, I Oh my god. He did not lie, girl. My mouth literally just wanted, like, I just dribbled out some spit. These potatoes are the picture perfect mashed potato that you imagine when you order mashed potatoes. When you go to like TGI Fridays or like Chili's and you order mashed potatoes and they come all kind of dry and not that flavorful, they wish they could be this. These are so light, fluffy, creamy, whipped, extremely buttery. It tastes like half butter, half potato. This is butter with a sprinkle of spud on top. Perfectly salted. Now let's try a carrot. Should I cut it to be classy? I should, right? I'm not just gonna pick up the whole carrot and eat it like a like a like a Bugs Bunny. That is two Warner Brothers. Oh, elegance. Mmm. Oh my god, it's so salty in a good way. That's the best carrot I've ever. <laughs> That sounds so dramatic and so stupid, but that very might well be the best carrot I've ever had. Towards the thick part, it's a little crunchy, but the bottom half was perfectly cooked. Tender, but not mushy. And it has this like grilled flavor to it. It's like a grilled carrot. I've never tried a carrot that tastes that good. By the way, this place is getting packed now. So if it's loud, I'm sorry. Now let's try an asparagus. Oh my god. Mm. I love asparagus. This is one of the best vegetables along with Brussels sprouts. If they're cooked correctly. And this is cooked perfectly. It's not mushy, but it's not crunchy. It's right in the middle. And it also tastes grilled. There's also a slight nutty flavor to it. Mm. Let's try the short rib. Do I need to cut it or is it just going to fall apart? Let's see. It's just falling apart. Love that. Oh, opulence. Mmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Oh my goodness. I usually don't spend $50 on a meal, but this was worth it. Oh my god. The sauce is sour creaming. Almost like a beef stroganoff sauce with like Mexican seasonings. It's really tangy like sour cream is and it's beefy. So the sauce is amazing. Like the beef itself, the texture is moist, juicy, melt in your mouth. I want to try the potatoes with the sauce. Oh, these Mexican restaurants in Epcot really are that girl. I cannot recommend this more. I'm getting really full though, but wow. the veggies, the meat, and the potatoes, all 10 out of 10. Another groundbreaking moment. I am going to take the rest to go because I'm getting really, really full and I want to save room for dessert. What a meal, what a moment. So pleasing to my career. Guys, there's birds flying outside. Hi. Is Snow White somewhere calling them? Can I get a box by any chance? Uh, yes, two. Thank you so much. Let's quickly look at the dessert menu. They have flan. Pina Tres Leches. Thank you so much. Can I get the um, flan also? A flan? Thank you so much. Yeah, um, I saw the flan. I'm like, I am craving flan. So I just ordered it now. But um, they also have the same sweet corn ice cream as the other place and sorbet. And then they also have churros. So the flan to me sounds perfect. That is going to finish off my day perfectly. I am saving every morsel of this $50 meal, girl. Even the bones. And there is a bone in there, I think. I'm gonna gnaw on it. I'm gonna get every dollar out of there. The flan is here. We have some more almonds. I love crispy almonds. This looks stunning. So if you don't know what flan is, I do, because guess why? <laughs> I love Cuba. So half of me knows. It is basically like a really, really thickened custard, almost with a jello texture, but like not rubbery. It's like a creamy jello texture, okay? So let's see. How that texture is. Oh my god. Oh yes. Okay. <laughs> Who is she? We don't need her. Get that raspberry. Oh my god. Oh wow. I have had hundreds of flans. And this is a perfect flan. It's a little less caramely than what I'm used to, but that strong vanilla flavor is there. It's so creamy, so decadent, not heavy, just a light dessert. Mm. And the almonds add a crunch that really works with this really soft texture. It's safe to say I devoured that. I'm so glad I saved room for it. Incredible. Another 10 out of 10. Today was such an amazing start to my Epcot World Series. What's it called again? Timmy Eats. Timmy eats everything on earth. <laughs> Love it. Oh, I'm gonna pay and then be on my way. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and just lay down and digest. Well guys, Epcot is crowded right now, but I literally had the best day ever. If you watch this whole thing, that means so much to me because this is the first episode of my series that I'm so excited about. And I hope that you watch the next episode when it comes out. Subscribe if you're new here and give this video a big thumbs up, okay? I love you guys. Bye.